Greetings adventurers and welcome back to Adventure Game Show Geek. It's an opinion piece today and I'm sorry if I get a little defensive of my rankings. I certainly don't mean to attack anyone. And while this video might not be my crown in glory, I hope it captures somebody's attention. If you haven't caught on from my glorious wordplay, this video is about Splatterlot. Splatterlot was one of my absolute favourite shows growing up, and it's still pretty great. It was also one of the few game shows my sister would watch willingly, which speaks for itself. If you haven't heard of it, it's what you get when you take Total Wipeout, drastically lower the age limit, and set it in pseudo-medieval times. Just for kicks. Three rounds, one winner, and it's just as gunge-covered and injury-filled as the adult show. If you want to watch it, you can find all the Canadian episodes, some of the British episodes, and none of the Australian episodes right here on YouTube. I'll link somewhere if you're interested. But of course, the best part of the show, the only part anyone really cares about, are the Defenders. A bunch of truly weird warriors who are the perfect combination of eccentric and downright murderous. We have knights, we have vikings, we have several things considerably stranger, but anyway, their job is to make life difficult for the contestants, the attackers, provide comic relief of the non-slime to the face variety, and also carry any kind of plotline an episode might have. They also spend an ungodly amount of time referring to themselves in the third person, truly the MVPs of the kingdom. There are 12 defenders in all, 9 in the first series, 6 in the second, with only 3 carried in between series. And today, for your pleasure, I'm going to rank them. Let's begin. Number 12. Vane. Vane is supposedly an ace archer. One question. Why is he here? All he does is eat and sleep. Or talk about eating and sleeping. And sometimes he's not there at all because guess what? He's busy eating or sleeping. I mean, why? He literally adds nothing. And yet, because he's a series two defender, we have to see him every episode. Last place, easily. Number 11, Tinkle. This ranking is more on personal bias. Tinkle provides a certain type of comedy that I don't really find funny when I was a kid and even less so now. And because of this, I just cringe whenever he's on screen. In the positive category, I love a good cyborg. And also he has some fun scenes with Scab and Shaden in particular. But solo, it's a definite no. Number 10. Fatal. Fatal stems from a combination of Ballista's flirtatiousness and Gildar's vanity. She's also Gildar's cousin, by the way. But unfortunately, she's less than the sum of her parts. She just comes across as a replacement for both, and a weak knockoff at that. She occasionally has her good moments, but it's not enough to bring her any higher, sadly. Number nine, Crockness. To be honest, I kind of forgot about Crockness as a kid, and I can kind of see why I forgot. When she's on screen, she's a great defender, and probably one of the kind of defenders She's also focused and competent, and if you know me, competence is key. Why, thank you, Gilda. I you seem to be doing lovely. quite well without your help. Yes, I am gorgeous. But she's also not a particularly loud defender, and when she's surrounded by so many crazy, wild characters, she fades to the back of your mind. Which is strange, as she's quite a striking concept. I don't know about you, but swamp mistresses aren't exactly a staple of my fancy consumption. Also, she has a pet crocodile called Albert. It would have been really nice to see more from Crocknest, but we didn't, so she places ninth. Number eight, Nitrous. I wasn't the biggest fan of Nitrous as a child, and honestly, that is a crime on my behalf. She's a knight, if that wasn't obvious, and her role is essentially team leader slash team mum. And I really like her speech patterns. There's nothing to fear here, but fear, dear! <laughs> it's the perfect combination of in intimidating, insulting, and oddly respectful that makes everything she says absolutely brilliant. 
I just think she's incredibly cool. Number seven, Scab, or should I say Alan Scab Tonelli, is the barbarian of the group, and he has an excellent cape, so that's three bonus places right there. He likes shouting and being aggressive, and oh yeah, he's also the defender in charge of Regicide. The death! Blah. Yes, you heard me. Because winning the crown of Spatalot is no reward, it's a death sentence. This is something that went way over my head as a kid. I'm not sure it's because it's a Canadian only thing and I originally watched the British episodes, but it's pretty obvious in the Canadian episodes. For example, Once the cameras are off, Scab's gonna eat the king for dinner. Too bad for the defenders, they take their regicide very seriously. His scab rules are sometimes genuinely sound advice. He has great interactions with pretty much every other defender, and he's only this low because I don't really find the sudden aggression thing funny. And because all the others are so good. It's fierce competition, but sadly the fiercest defender does not win this one. Number six, Belista. Belista is a huntress, and the only bait she needs is her own incredibly good looks. She just says, Hi! The attackers go, Hey! And then she shoots them. Simple and effective. But... My problems with this are, one, they're kids, they're probably not actually attracted to her, and it's a bit creepy weird for the producers and the hosts to make it out like they are. And two, she never tried it out on any of the female attackers. But I digress. She also has some good back and forth with the other defenders. Her intimidation sometimes borders on plain mean, but otherwise, she's generally a delight. Number five, Gildar. Gildar is... Well, the first thing I can say is that Gildar would be disappointed that this whole video wasn't dedicated to him. Because he's that vain. Seriously, there aren't enough seconds in the day to describe how vain he is, and he would spend all of them looking in the mirror. And somehow, it's endearing. Like, the skies could be crumbling, and yet you'd know that somewhere, somehow, this man would be staring at his own face. And there's more. There's his strange hatred of sass. Do I? I detect some sass. I don't like sass. It is my quest to rid the world of sassiness. There's his previous marriage to Croc Ness, which is seven levels of confusing. All in all, a grade nine defender. Number four, Shaden. Most of the planning for this video was me forcing myself not to put Shaden in the first place. Because as much as I love her, I can't find the evidence to support that. But still, I love her. She's a ninja. She has a sword. She is incredibly competent. I just look at them and they fall off. I'm just that good. She's somewhat weaker on her own, but give her some to work off and, well, I'd say she has brilliant interactions with every defender. Particularly, her and Kookaburra and Ballista make a great trio. She also works well with Scab and Mocking Gilda and with Tinkor and even her brother Thorn with the limited screen time they share. Also, she makes jokes. Tackers! Get this! Why did the chicken cross the road? Well, they look gripped. Tell us then, come on! To get a splat! Oh. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, it's funny! The chicken and, and the... Oh. Or not. I don't think you can call that a joke. I love her. Number three, Mediva. Mediva is the quintessential defender. She's terrifying. She's competent. She's more than a little insane. And did I mention she's terrifying? Her laugh makes me want to run for the hills. Today's moat forecast is... Medeva gonna make it right! Her sister Nitrous is so refined, the contrast is quite a shock. They're polar opposites of two very good things. Her vibes are immaculate, and her existence is just so iconic. There's the best defenders are those who really bring the audience's attention to them, and Mediva, and all of the top three really, definitely do that. She was very good at engaging with the attackers, with both friendly distracting and blatant intimidation. And also, don't mess with her hair. Trust me. I finally got my hair did. <laughs> Number two, Thorn. Again, I wasn't a fan of Thorn as a child, and that actually makes sense, because the things that make me like him now are the things that went way over my head as a kid. Mainly, his incessant random culture references. It's 
quite amusing. Just picture it. The perpetually bad-tempered warrior with very few soft moments is also a massive geek. Like me! <laughs> Here are some of my favourite moments from my second favourite defender. Mission to boldly splat where no attacker has gone before. This is Close Encounters of the Thorn kind. Can't explain it, but there's something about the way you splat tonight. But I thought an attacker. I did, I did. My name is Thorn. Thorn, Thorn. Splatters in the night, exchanging goo grenades. Yes, Thorny. <laughs> so that brings us to number one. He's gonna win it. Who? And if you haven't guessed already, it's Kookaburra. So, the bird man wins. Do I have a bias for bird people? No comment. But this is an excellent opportunity to comment on the sheer number of bird people you actually find in adventure game shows. I mean, there's Kook, obviously. Then there's Raven. Raven. Sean O'Kane's interceptor. <laughs> okay, maybe there aren't that many, but... There are enough to make it weird. I'm going off topic here, back to Kookaburra. If I'm honest, he's always been my favourite. He has this manic, enthusiastic, strange energy, which is amazing. It's brilliant whenever he's on screen. He's constantly talking, making stupid jokes, messing with attackers and defenders alike. He just takes the attention of the audience and doesn't let go. And it's brilliant, it's so brilliant. There was no doubt in my head that he was always going to win this for me. And with that, this video reaches its end. What do you think? I'd love to see your opinion. Who knows, you might just change my mind. Comment down below. I'll see you soon, but remember, it's only a game, isn't it?